Hi, this is Jim Schroeder. How are you guys doing? Uh, what I've got today for you is what's called the Rectress TR507 Long Range FM Broadcast Transmitter. And this is available from Amazon. Uh, usually ships within six to ten days, 180 bucks. And this is a great opportunity for a church that wants to do parking lot church, that wants to do a broadcast ministry through the community. Uh, just so you know, as far as range, uh, of course, everything's going to be different. And we'll talk about how to program it in a second. But uh, setting this thing up here and broadcasting from inside of my uh, office here that is a brick building, uh, broadcasting this you can pick up a half a mile away, it looks like. So I think that uh, depending on distances, a quarter of a mile to more than a half a mile would be safe. So let's take a look at uh, the machine itself. So this is the Rectress, and we're gonna go ahead and, and show you a couple things here. The first is there's a little USB port here where you could plug in a USB. Most places what you're going to do is you're gonna use the mic port. Now that's a, a phono mic, so uh, just a regular microphone off of your sound system. You could plug in there or you could plug in your whole sound system into that spot. Okay, we're not going to use that today. That's real easy. That's plug and play. But I want to show you how to do uh, to change the frequency. You need to Google for your town uh, or your city what are the FM stations that are available and pick a frequency that is not uh, near that. I picked 89.1 because that is uh, a free frequency where this is going to be going to Port Republic, New Jersey. Now, if you want to change that, the first thing you have to do is go over here to the OK button and unlock. So that frequency is going to remain locked just in case you don't hit the button, right? But I first unlock it, and then I can go ahead and I can drop the frequency down. I can go ahead and put it back up to where I want it. That's 89.1. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock it with the OK button over here. You'll see familiar mic volume, echo, volume, treble, bass, those kinds of things. On the back, I want to show you, of course, you've got an antenna here. You could put a, a taller antenna on there if you wanted to try and boost signal a little bit. There's an auxiliary in. Uh, this provides those RCA cables. If you want to go ahead and connect a sound system or a stereo deck or any kind of, uh, of sound uh, creating device, <laughs> you can uh, go ahead and plug that in there. If you want to put an external speaker, so you're standing outside and there's some people there standing around uh, and you want to broadcast near by speaker and far out to uh, the cars or the people a uh, quarter mile, half mile away, you can plug use those to plug into an outside speaker and an external speaker. All right, back to the, the system. I'll show you a little bit about what we're doing here. So there are different kinds of um, inputs I showed you. You can do a USB, you can do a phono, you can go ahead and go on the back and use the RCA. Here's another handy one. This thing will Bluetooth connect to your phone. So I've already done that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that up here, play a little bit of music, and transmit. Now, of course, you don't hear anything because I don't have an external speaker set up on this. If I did, you would hear that. So, in order to hear the music, which is the final countdown, the old good old 80s song, you go ahead and turn on your radio. Of course, my radio is tuned to 89.1. Like I said just a little bit ago, we tested it. I drove my truck around and uh, was able to get good signal, like I said, a quarter mile or a half a mile away even, broadcasting from inside of this building. Now, I would suggest, as much as I like to listen to the music, I would suggest that if you're going to use this, you would do it outside. Uh, if you have a DC to AC converter, you could even, or some vehicles have an AC outlet in their vehicle, 
uh, you could go ahead and you could plug it into a vehicle and put it on top of the vehicle. You could, uh, with an extension cord, put it in the bed of a truck to broadcast and have your wires run. Um, you could use a bandstand, you could use the bed of a truck, you could use uh, a tractor trailer bed, uh, you could just stand up on the wall uh, next to the cemetery, wherever it is that you find, but uh, obviously without the impediment of brick walls and, and uh, any kind of walls, this thing is going to provide more clarity. The other thing that I would do, uh, like I said, is check your town and see if you Google the name of your town, your state, and FM stations, it should come up with a list of all the stations that are accessible from your town. Pick a frequency that's not on there or that has some buffer, not one, one or two above, and uh, you're gonna get the best results. And then the other thing I'd recommend for your town and for everybody else would be, go ahead and have some yard signs made, just those regular yard signs, and, and put tune in here Sunday morning the station, you know, 89.1 FM, and then the name of your church or something like that to let the community know. So if they don't come out and they want to uh, secret shop your church and see what you're about, uh, they go ahead and they can hear you and uh, you'll be able to connect with them uh, and give them some space as they decide whether they want to take the next step, hopefully, and come out and join you physically. All right, uh, I know there's other transmitters out there and uh, this is just one that we're gonna be trying out at my home church in Port Republic, New Jersey shortly. Um, and I made this video for uh, the tech team back there so that they can go ahead and they can do this. But uh, if you end up buying one of these or you're looking for an answer uh, to go ahead and do parking lot ministry or radio ministry, uh, that's a good option from Amazon. God bless you and have a great day.